Hey everybody, welcome to the Profitable Farmer and Ask an Expert and on today's show, uh, we have a very special guest, our fearless leader, our CEO, Frank Arlia is joining us and uh, let me see if I can uh, help him jump on here. Uh, oh, there we go. Hello. Frank, you there? Yes, I am. I'm proud to be here too. Nice. So uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I mean, uh, a lot of people, it's, it's very interesting. We've been at this since, actually, Frank's been at this since, what, 2014 now? And uh, uh, Yeah, thanks. You know, it all started uh, March, March 6, 2014. Wow, been an amazing journey. So um, in today's episode, I kind of wanted just to, uh, to talk to Frank here. I invited him here because, you know, we're, we're contacting so many people from all over the world uh, just in the last really year and a half even. Uh, or two years since we launched uh, the the newest version of our Kimonasi plan booster. And, you know, uh, the people that are kind of jumping in and getting into the conversation now, or the people that have watched us on Facebook or YouTube or you know, any one of the number of places they've seen us don't really know the backstory. They don't really know how this all came to be. They think, oh, this is just some company that just started out of nothing and had, they have a product they're trying to sell and, and, and that's it, you know, but, but there really is what I think to be a really cool story behind it. And, I wanted to just invite uh, Frank on here to kind of go through that and maybe just kind of touch on some of the highlights of the history of the last you know, eight years, because it, it has been a very interesting ride. I've been here for about five and a half. He's been here for eight. And uh, we've definitely gone through uh, quite a quite a few amazing experiences and um, a few ups and downs. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but I just want to go with that. But um, but Frank, let's let's start with. Um, how did this all got started? How did, how did you meet Fulvio Baumelli, the uh, the inventor of the tech, and and how did that whole process uh, start? So um, the this well the story actually started. It was um, <clears throat> probably about it was very interesting. It's like it's like you know when just something is just meant to be, you know it just it just happens that way. When something is just meant to be, it just happens. When you make a decision, I want to do something, and then things just happen. Um. I, it was late 2013 when I'm a forensic accountant, you know, I have an accounting firm in New York. That was my forte for many years. I was behind a desk for many, many years. Those, all those certificates you see behind my head, those are all my accounting degrees and, and licenses from different states in the United States, Florida, New Jersey, New York. And, and I, I'm for, I'm an investigator. And so I, I was uh, late 20. It was late uh, 2013. I'm saying there's something wrong with our food. Like somebody shouldn't be investigating the food industry, you know, because I come from, I'm first generation American and I come from uh, two, you know, two wonderful Italian parents that in Southern Italy, I would visit my grandparents and my parents' homes every two years when I was a kid, even in my, uh, even up until about seven years, seven, eight years ago, every two years I was going and, the food in Italy is a lot better than the food in the United States. I'm like, you know, why is that? You know, we got the greatest country in the world. Why is the quality of our food so horrible compared to, to, to Italy? Anyway, I decided, you know what? I'm going to take some time and start investigating the food industry and find out because that's what I do. I'm an investigator. Well, with that decision um, came the idea that maybe I could find a solution for the food industry, you know, maybe I can help find a, a, a solution. A month later, my mother started having a congestive heart failure attacks. And if anybody knows what that is, it's pretty horrific. So she had her first in November, 2013, her second in December, 2013, and her third in January, 2014. So anyone who knows anything about this, they understand that she doesn't have much time to live. And that's what that's what uh, the doctors were saying that, you know, you got to prepare for the worst because it's coming. And my mother knew that also. Anyway, I wasn't about to lose my best friend. My mother's always been my best friend. I'm like, it's time to just dig heels and start finding a solution. So scouring the internet, making phone calls, doing research. Finally, I, I, I connected with one of my friends in Florida and he said, look, um, the only person who's going to help you solve this is going to be uh, Fulvio Balmelli in Italy. Um, and look them up. It's Biomedic Center in Italy. So I looked them up and they have a medical center in Como, Italy. And very interesting. Uh, uh, 
different type of medical technology using bioresonance. I did some homework. I liked what I saw. I contacted them. I, they asked me to translate my mother's medical records into, into Italian. I did because I speak, read, and write fluent Italian. And so I did all of that, sent them, sent them over. They sent back a communication that said, look, if you get her here in, in, in fast because she is dying, if you get her here fast, there's a chance we could save her life. So obviously I went, spoke to my mother in front of my five brothers and sisters, and um, I convinced her. I said, look, you're dying. Do you want to stay here and wait for death? Or do you want to go to Italy knowing with congestive heart failure condition, if you have an attack on the plane, you're not coming off the plane alive. And she knew that. And my mother thought it through. And then she said, okay, let's go to Italy. And that, that's when the adventure started. So I get her on a plane. You got to picture this, right? Wheelchair, oxygen tank, right? Um, all the time, fully, always with oxygen. Um, uh, walkers, seven luggages, three filled with medical equipment. I mean, it was an insane trip. You know, there was a lot of tipping going on. I'm paying everybody just to help me. <laughs> so, but we get on, we get on the plane. We get to Italy. She survives the plane. We get to Italy two days later, February 14, 20, February 14, 2014. She's fully diagnosed. Within one hour, they figure out exactly what's wrong with her. And they tell me, leave her here for 30 days and she'll come back, you know, completely healthy. And I'm like, okay. So I call my accounting firm in New York and say, I'm not coming back home. I'm staying with my mom. And um, good luck. If you need my help, call me. <laughs> and this is like this is February, right? Right as tax season starting. Yeah, right? this, is, and you're this, is tax season. this is in the in the in the in the beginning of the heat of tax season, right? And all the way to the depths of tax season. The first time in 25 years I left the accounting firm. I had never left the accounting firm during tax season. But I was like, you know, I'm with mom. That's it. Sure enough. I'm intrigued because I'm watching her get healing day by day, week by week. And the, you know, the, the medical team is, is enjoying my company because I'm making salads for them all the time. I'm every day I'm making them a new salad. And they're like, what are you making today, Frank? So, you know, they gave me a little office that I could do some work and they gave me a kitchen so I could cook for them. And it was, it was, they're just amazing people. And um, what wind up happening was, the inventor of this, of the, of the, of the, the medical researcher for the, for the facility and the inventor of this technology, which I didn't know about at the time, you know, Fulvio Balmelli starts asking me all these business questions. And he's like, well, what do you think of this? And how would you do this? And how would you do that? And, and I just, you know, I was accommodating. I mean, the guy's saving my mother's life. I'll do anything, right? Right. Well, it gets really interesting because what happens is he takes me and my mom out to dinner more than a few times, by the way. But the last time he takes us out to dinner, he says, I want to ask you help. And I'm like, sure, whatever you need. You just saved my mother's life. This is five days before we're coming back home. You yeah, know, it went from like three months to live to she's totally healthy. Yeah. <laughs> in like well, what, two weeks, three well, weeks. Here's, here's what wind up happening. She arrived in a wheelchair and oxygen. Yeah. Oxygen and a wheelchair. She left no oxygen tank and a walker. Wow. You know, so... That was the difference. That's that's the drastic difference. And no more congestive heart failure. Never had an attack after that. Nice. Anyway, when we're out to dinner, I said, look, you saved my mother's life. We're leaving in, in five or six days. I'll do anything for you. Just name it. So he's like, look, I have all this technology. I want to get it out to the world, but I don't have time. I'm too busy saving lives. But somebody needs to get this technology out. So would you help me? And I said, absolutely. What do you have? So he starts rattling off all these different technologies are all amazing things, by the way, you know, from um, water technology. So the body can absorb more water and be healthier, healthier humans, uh, anti-aging technology, hair technology. I mean, this hair that you see here, believe me, I was more bold than this. I've been using it. It grows. So it you works. look almost like me, not quite as bad. Yeah. Well, you haven't <laughs> used it, you know? So the, the, the bottom line is, He's got all this technology, but while we're sitting there, he says, he goes, I have a couple of other technologies that aren't ready yet, but 
you know, maybe we could talk about when they're ready. I said, well, what do you have? So he says, I have an agricultural technology. And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. It, it wasn't, it was just four or five months ago that I was thinking I wanted to investigate the agricultural industry. Like, tell me about that. I'm interested in that. So he starts telling me about it. And then I said, okay, let's look at your laboratory. Show me the laboratory. We have these results tomorrow. So he takes me into his, like this private section of his laboratory, right? He takes me on his terrace where he's doing his experiments. And I'm seeing, mm -hmm. I'm seeing this baby lemon tree, you know, like 15 lemons on it. And I'm like, I know lemon trees because I see them in my, my grandparents, you know, yard, mini farm, you know, a couple acres in Italy. I'm like, okay, that's pretty amazing, right? And, and then he's showing me this uh, poinsettia, this Christmas poinsettia that he's been growing indoors, which poinsettias don't live indoors. Right. But the poinsettia is the size of my desk. It's like three feet wide. Meanwhile, it's, you know, they, they only grow healthy outside in the spring. He's growing it in the winter for three years. He's got this thing. It's, it's monstrous. But the big one for me was he shows me a cactus. This cactus is, well, this is what it looked like three years ago. This is what it looks like now. This cactus went from like a foot high to two and a half feet. And it went and it blew up like almost six inches wide on both sides and had these muscles coming out right? We have pictures of this cactus. I mean, this thing was amazing. And I saw the cactus, the, the change in three years. I'm like, cactuses do not grow that fast. That's crazy. So I'm like, listen, I'm in. This is what I want to do. He goes, it's not ready. It's, it still needs a lot more work. So I said, it's okay. I'm going to take it on. I'll, I'll, I'll work with you on that. I jumped in. Little did I know that it was going to take another six years of research and millions and millions of dollars to, to complete it. But in October 19, 2019, <laughs> think about that. October 19, 2019, from, from April, no, from April, 20, uh, April 2014. So do the math. It was all, almost six years. We finished <clears throat> it, ready to go. But I'm proud to say in um, in two and a half years, it's been actually two and a half years where, where we've sold it to 30 countries. We're working with the government of Liberia. OK, um, we have other governments that we are talking to right now. Um, we we've had some major conversations with huge operators in the United States and in other countries. Um, and people are finding out about us, you know, even like uh, uh, Gallo Wines, mm -hmm. Dole, you know, people just finding out about us. You know, everyone can just continue to work with us because we have a technology that's uh, helping farmers, really helping farmers. Yeah, it's it's, it's been a kind of a good, I, I started with the company at the end of 2016. So you had a couple years uh, going before I joined and I joined as a salesman then and I remember, I remember very well uh, calling up farmers and trying to sell. Um, I, I, I don't have it right in front of me. We had a, a, it was a one inch pipe. I remember that very well. Right. And uh, I think it handled about 20 gallons a minute, maybe not even that at that point. And, and I was like, okay, you know, we're producing, we, we, you had already done a lot of the trials. We were already producing even back then 20, 30% right. yield increases. So I'm thinking, okay, yeah, of course, farmers are going to want this. And, and, but, but I found out that farmers are looking at this going, I would have to buy like a hundred of them. What am I going to do? With this? And I'm still selling, you know, a few of them just to get yeah. people that because they're interested. Yeah, the and, farm, um, I the farmers, that. Goes, what am I going to do with that? What am I going to do with 20 gallons a minute? Yeah. You know, oh, the, the, uh, it was just. And then it we, was, um, it was fast forward to 2017. I remember also, um, and this is, I just bring this up because, you know, again, a lot of people, you know, who, who have doubts or skepticism, whatever, they don't really know that what we went through that we actually, you know, we didn't just like come up with a product and Hey, we're selling you something. It's like, we, we went through a ton of stuff. Like I remember, I think it was 2017 where that the metal on the pipe that we were using um, was a, a special, like a stainless steel. Right. And, um, and we, we special stainless steel yeah. that we, that we used that, that cost us six hundred thousand dollars just to find out that it magnetized after so many months 
and it, yeah. it, it it canceled out the frequencies, which was like, okay, that was. We had, that we was had farmers that were getting experience. like, oh my god, this is the most amazing, and then like two months later, like, um, I think there's something wrong with your system, and we we're like, what are you talking about? They're like, well, it's just I just don't see the 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 vigor and the health and the green the way I was seeing it initially, and then we ran that test uh, at that facility, and we found out that. Yeah, like you said, it, there was that that metal in the pipe that we were using for the transmitters were was magnetizing and shorting out our transmitters. Right. Like, oh my god, the technology was perfect. Yeah, technology was, was amazing even back then. Yeah, the, but the yeah because we had trials that we did in 2015, 2016, 2017. They're all amazing. Even the, the even the trial that we did in South Russia, where we got 18 percent in a greenhouse. It was like we were getting results left and right, but we were getting results using just the microtransmitters. When we tried to set up in the delivery system to increase the flow rate, it was the delivery system that was horrible. You yeah. know, but we learned a lot of lessons and, you know, I, 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 I'm, I tell you, I'm, I'm proud to say that we went through a lot and we're here now and now we're, we're doing really well. Yeah. And, and I want you to kind of tell, tell us a story. Cause I've told this to some of the farmers I've talked to. Um, tell us, I kind of want to walk you through and I'm going to try and pull up the video while you're talking, but tell us the story about uh, hurricane Irma that came through our office. Uh, I think it was 2017, maybe it was 2018. No, and, I think it was um, 17. Was it 17? That was, that was 2017. Yeah. That was actually uh, September, October, 2017. Right. And I remember that specifically because what had happened was we had to evacuate the, the, the facility because we're, ne we're near the beach, we're near the water, and they were expecting, you know, six, seven, eight foot uh, waves to come in and they would have wiped out our office. You know, we, we were planning, we were thinking we were going to get flooded out. Luckily, it dropped from a, from a hurricane stage four, you know, down to um, a, a tropical storm stage two at the, at the very end. So we got lucky. But, but basically... What had transpired was <clears throat> we we evacuated the office. We took all the computers out. We took all the all the expensive equipment out. We took the the um, the uh, what's that called? The camera that takes a picture every fifteen minutes. The time lapse. The time lapse. The time lapse camera. We took that out, right? And we but we left the experiment there. We're like, listen, if it gets flooded out, it gets flooded out. We'll just start a new one. But it was a great experiment that we were we were just playing with indoors to see what we can do. Yeah, we came at that, at that time, because of, because of the thing I just mentioned, that, that shorting out, we were kind of pivoting and trying to sell uh, the transmitters as a gardening device for home use because, you know, like you said, the technology worked great. It had no problem with that. Exactly. It was just it was just that, you know, we, we had no commercial product for, for commercial farms at that point. Right. And um, we, we didn't we had we had a lot more to do in the research and development to get the to get it to get it to big commercial farms. Yeah, so we were running our time lapse just to kind of show from a, a gardening perspective and two like two small planters, um, you know how how we can benefit and improve plant growth and and we were actually doing nutrient density analysis too on that experiment before exactly. we had to evacuate. So exactly, and that was um they were I mean this, they were small planters they were two three two foot by three foot but but they were side by side like literally connected side by side, and then when we came back five days later after after no air conditioning. No, no lights, you know, no, not just the humidity. Right. And right. so we come back, we open the door and you got these two planters side by side. And one of them is infested with like what looked like millions of bugs, but it was like thousands and thousands of these little gnats. Right. And the other one right next to it. I'm like, there's not one bug in this thing. I'm looking everywhere. There's no bugs. They're right next to each other. I'm like Jim, get the camera, get, the, get the camera. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I was looking for it, man. I, our marketing guys are doing too good of a job. We have like hundreds of videos on our YouTube channel, so I'm having to scroll back quite a bit here. Um, but yeah, it was it was. I, I'm the one who like walked in because I was like, "Well, is there anything left?" And and when I saw, oh, here it is. I'll uh, oh, that's a 30 minute one. I don't want to do that. There's a shorter one here. But um, yeah, but yeah, was... I remember I remember walking in, going, "What the hell?" Because as you turn as we turn on the lights, you know, we just the power was just restored and. I remember just seeing these these bugs just in a cloud kind of came up, but it only came up from one side. I was like, what the? And then I realized that was the the control, the untreated planter. But yeah, um, that was amazing. Let me let me just play this real quick as a couple of minutes. I just want to show kind of uh, one of our early, if I can get rid of this. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't watched this video in a while. 
All right, let me let me see if I can share my screen here so we can see. We're gonna go down memory lane. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, if I can get my computer to work with me. <laughs> All right, uh, share my screen. Houston, we're having technical issues. Exactly. Stand by, Houston. Stand by. So um, where is it? This one? Nope. That one? Yes. There it is. Yeah. So let's let's just see the what we saw. I'll, I'll take you back to what we saw when we walked back into our office here. I don't know if you can hear the the sound on this or not. No. So that's okay. the plant that that's the good plant. That, yeah. That's the so, to the left. This one on the left here. Yeah, I can <laughs> hear the sound. I don't know if you guys can. I'm going to narrate. No. But yeah, this is the this is the treated. I can't hear it. Okay. But it's but it's okay because you we can just bring it because you're going to come in. Is it still playing? Yeah, it's playing. Just go ahead and um, go yeah, ahead so, and narrate if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna narrate it because I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. This is basically you you describing the situation. Yeah, but like, okay, yeah, it looks like it's fro. Okay, so look, look at all these bugs. Look at them; they're all over the walls. And now we the soil. Here, and they're all over the soil. Yeah. When you see the movie. Yeah. They're all over the plant. They're everywhere. You know, it's just in complete infested. Now we're zooming in and you can see them even in the soil. Yeah. So that was the untreated. This is the treated. Yeah. There's a time lapse machine that you just passed. Right? This is literally, you can see right next door to the one you just saw, no insects at all. <laughs> yeah. It's clean as a whistle. You zoom in. And there's there's nothing there. And this is the short video that we did, that we narrated, but the bit the big thirty minute video with all the details are on is on is on the website also, I believe. Yeah, that's the untreated going back, untreated, and you see the treated right yeah. next door to it. Nothing. Yeah, you were just panning back and forth. Yeah. That's the best picture right there. Yeah, that was yeah, because you see the difference from two different walls. But it was, you know, when you watch the video directly as opposed to you know, in 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 a uh, like a screen within a screen, it, it's a better effect. Yeah, but it's a it's a little it's, tricky with that, but I mean, it was. Um, but there's was nothing that, better than being there live. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 one that of those experience things. was like that was like, oh my god. Get the camera. <laughs> that 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 was the point where I kind of went from being like, okay, cool. This 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 is a really amazing project, and you know, if if it works as well as we as we're seeing, then this could definitely change the world. And that's where I became kind of like, okay, this is this is what I have to uh, devote myself to, and this because this this really will change the world, and this really is the real deal. I mean, when I saw that, I was like, you, you just can't unsee something like that. It was pretty amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I, I've seen enough with and heard enough of, of the, the 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 successes with the farmers, you know, that just early on, you know, it's uh, it's inspiring, you know. So when when everyone is constantly telling you how how great the technology is or how wonderful it is and how it's helped them or how it's helped their farms, you know, even the people that experience it themselves they still can't believe the results themselves. Like, and they see it. Mm -hmm. they, they've experienced it. They've witnessed it, but still they're like, how did it has to be it? something else. There has to be something yeah, yeah. How did, else how other, did than, they other than the obvious. It has to be something yeah. other than the most obvious. Like this. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's really, it's, it's really, all I can say is that I'm proud that I, that Fulvio asked me to do this. I'm proud that I, that I, I literally turned over my accounting firm and my other businesses in New York to my staff in New York. And I said, you know what? I'm going to dedicate the rest of my life to farmers and helping farmers. And then I relocated to Florida, you know, and uh, here, here we are. I, I you know, I, I was in New York all my life. I never left New York, but decided to do this. I'm like, okay, I got to, I got to move to Florida because I need to be with, I need to be where the farmers are. I need yeah. to be hanging out with farmers or at least close by to them. You know, yeah. so and so the last thing I kind of wanted to go through, at least for for today's episode is um, 
let's walk back to uh, from now to uh, the end of 2019, because sure. we th this is uh, we we had what we call tech version five, which we um, I'll, I'll just mention this, and of course we can talk in more detail in, in future episodes. But in 2019, we we uh, sent out two major grants. One was for the people of Puerto Rico. Actually, three. Come to think of it, we did three major grants. Yeah, there was Puerto Rico where we helped. Uh, the, the that was the last one. The, yeah. It started out uh, like you want me. You want me to. Uh, so okay, so the first one was the Panhandle where uh, Hurricane Maria. Hurricane and, Hurricane Michael and Maria. No, Michael, and, yeah. so Hurricane Michael destroyed the the Panhandle. Yeah, Michael was Panhandle. Maria was was. For, I'm getting my hurricanes confused. So. Yeah, there's well, there's plenty of hurricanes around here. So so, so yeah, so Michael had basically <laughs> devastated the the farms up in Panhandle in South Georgia, up in that region in the Gulf of Mexico. Exactly. And so you, you made the decision. You said, "I want to help these farmers out." So we donated. How much did it end up being? It was about a million, maybe a million. It was a five. million. It was a million dollars retail value of, of, the Harvest Harmonics technology, and that right. was technology version five. Right. So, the company had just, we we had not officially launched, but we had a technology that was workable and we and 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 could help farmers. So we said, you know what, we have it. Let's let's use it. Let's help farmers. Right. Little yeah. did we know, you know, you and I. That Fulvio was was in his laboratory in Italy, and he was continuing to advance the technology, and that's by uh, October he was going to release technology six, which was version six, which is the mind blowing technology that now is all over the world. Right, and so that was yeah. kind of yeah. I wanted you to kind of walk back because I remember, um, you know, we we had just launched all these grants. We 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 installed on I don't know I think it was sixty or seventy, maybe a hundred farms. I can't remember how many it was now, but we installed on all these farms and then it was like we in the big breakthrough of tech five which we were excited about then was we got the flow rate from 20 gallons a minute to 2600 gallons a minute so we, right. we knew now we could handle the the major farms we had a commercially right we were commercially product. ready but then comes 2019 and just want you to share kind of that story as you met with fulvio he said i have a surprise for you i'll let you tell the story all right so bit. so <clears throat> I, so let's go back to it's actually 2018 okay right so in um, early December 2018, Fulvio called me up and he said, uh, you got to come to Italy now. And I'm like, <laughs> like, what do you mean now? Like, he goes like immediately. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, like a week. He's like, okay, a week is fine, but come right away. So I'm like, fine. So I book a flight, the home nine yards, you know, tell my wife I'm leaving Italy, you know, and, and away I go. So I get to Italy and, um, he he picks me up I and mean, he picks me up. He takes me out for a cup of coffee. We drove from Como to Lugano, Switzerland, right? In his new Alfa Romeo. And we and we were flying there. You can only imagine how fast we're going. And we get there. And um to, I, I, we get we get there. I said, So you drove me all the way to Lugano, Switzerland for a cup of coffee? <laughs> and he said, and he's like, Yeah, let's take a walk in the park. So we'll take a walk in the park by the lake. And uh, he says, I got a surprise for you. So I'm like, really, what's that? So he says, it's done. And I'm like, what's done? <laughs> the technology, it's finished. I'm like, what do you mean it's finished? I mean, because we were waiting. And he goes, he goes, everything you wanted me to, to finish, I finished. It's done. And he tells me, and he starts showing me the pictures of his preliminary experiments. And of course... After, after investing millions and millions of dollars and, and, and putting your whole life on the line and everything, and I mean everything that I own was involved in this technology at this point. He goes, I think I, I, I believe I did what any grown man would have done. I started crying like a baby. I mean, I just like <laughs> Niagara Falls. I mean, it was such a release and a relief, you know, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm like tearing up and I'm crying and I'm crying. <laughs> and he's like, okay, don't worry about it. It's done. <laughs> so then... You know, we went and then we went, we went to go get a, we went to go get something to eat. And I still couldn't believe it. It was like, it was for me, it was mind blowing that we, we were done. I'm going to, I'm going to actually go get the, the difference to show people what the difference in the two vibes are. Keep talking. And I'll, yeah, I'll, go I'll ahead. So what wind up happening, what wind up happening was we started planning because he told me, he says, look, you have to test it because you got to take it back to America. Cause right now it's winter in Italy. So because it's winter in Italy, I can't test it. Like you got to test it on big fields. So I said, no problem. So we went back to the United States. I took some of the technology with me and then we coordinated with the, 
an irrigation company and a couple of citrus fields, citrus growers in central Florida. And we, we set up to get, uh, to, get uh, to test the highest level of, of pump that we could find, which was 26, 2,600 gallons per minute. And the furthest distance we can find, you know, and even that we spent, we spent a lot of money running those tests, but we were able to figure out that the, the technology could be transmitted the distance of a mile. And we went up to flow rates up to 2,600 gallons. And that was the highest. So we don't even know. We could probably go higher than 2,600 gallons a minute. But we haven't had a farm that, that big yet. And the distance, we've never found the farm anywhere near a mile of distance in transmission from, the, from where the pump is at the installation all the way to the furthest plant in the field. So that particular farm, we had to add all these extensions to get it to a mile. Right. You know, So it was very interesting. Yeah, we but, went from we went from uh, sorry to interrupt you. We went from this. This was the one inch pipe that we had, right? This is what yeah, I was, this is what I had. So any any of you dealers out there who are watching this who are complaining about how hard it is to sell something, this is what I had to sell when I started. I had a one inch pipe that could handle twenty gallons a minute. It had fifteen of these little transmitters. So it has five five on each row. There's fifteen of these transmitters, and this was back in 2016. And what he's describing this breakthrough, we went to basically a single transmitter, which you see here um, underneath the red. And now we have pipe fittings that can go up to four inch, or like you said, we have, we can have well, now, kits that can go up to 15 inch pipes. So when, when we do a large farm, that's, you know, 300 acres, 400 acres, 200 acres, we need a lot more transmitters for that. Right. Sure, it all depends sure. on the installation, you know, sure. but, but that pipe that you just showed, that's for that's for a small farm or for a greenhouse. Right. Anyway, the, 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 the point of the story that you wanted me to tell is then we came back to the United States. From January to April, we started doing all this testing. Once we knew what we could do, then in May, I, I, I convinced my daughter to do a road trip with me. And I'm really proud of my daughter. My daughter, Alexandra, she's amazing. <clears throat> she came on this road trip with me. This is a woman who hates bugs, right? I mean, just hates bugs. But she's out there in the field with me, keeping track, doing videos, helping me do installations. We did about 30 installations in the panhandle, you know, giving away three or $400,000 worth of technology. And she's out there with all the bugs and she didn't care about the bugs. I mean, she was just, she was just, you know, sucking it all up. And then she, she met one farmer that she, the farmer was letting her play with the sheep. And and play with the with the animals. She was having a blast. I mean, it was it was probably one of my best father daughter you know, experiences I had with my with my oldest daughter. But it was phenomenal, and we had we had a great time. We we did what we did in the panhandle. Then we came down. We said, you know what? We should do something for the citrus growers. Right. So we <clears> put out another million dollar grant for <throat> the citrus growers, right? And we put that out. And again, this was Tech Five, so Tech Five wasn't as strong as Tech Six. You know, but we were still looking to help doing do whatever we could, you right. know. And then and then we have a couple of citrus growers coming back saying that how how good the technology was because they saw the difference, right? And they were happy with it. And then um we got into what is it? Um it was probably the end of the year. Oh, it was my birthday. On my birthday, right? We <clears throat> did an event where we donated a million dollars of technology to Puerto Rico because Puerto Rico got hit with Hurricane Michael, Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Maria, the earthquakes. I mean, Puerto Rico was devastated. And so we did that for Puerto Rico, but they were still doing that grant. Because of COVID, there was a, a one-year delay on that. Then we went out there. We did a whole event out there. We got 14 or 15 farmers started. We hired a team out there. They're now getting the grant going. Now we got some universities on board there. You know, it's starting to pick up and we even went as far as we bought a farm in Puerto Rico. Right. You know, so now we're going to have our, we have our own farm in Puerto Rico. That farm is already using the Kiminasi technology because it was one of the farmers that was already using the technology. And so <clears throat> we're intimately involved, but you know, if there's anyone from Puerto Rico who's watching this and is interested, we still have about, I think $600,000 to give away. So if you're a farmer, you're in Puerto Rico, give us a call. We want to help you. We want to help you flourish and do well and get your farm, you know, producing a lot more. And so, yeah, that was, that was the whole transition story, but the excitement came October 19, 2019, when Fulvio contacted us again and said, here's the next surprise. 
the technology is eight times stronger. And we're like, what? Right. It's like, it's eight times stronger. By my calculations, it's eight times stronger. You're going to have to see it yourself. And we started putting it on farms. And now we're seeing, we, we're instantly getting results. We're seeing differences between control and chemonosity. Within yeah, three, before it was taking two to three months to really see the difference yeah. in the plants and stuff. And now with, with our current tech, we're seeing it two in to three weeks, weeks. Two weeks at the most, you know, but you start seeing the laser greener plants are growing faster. You see that real quick. It's not, it doesn't take long at all. And the farmers that are willing to do a little homework, like dig up some roots and compare the roots. They see that they see the root system different. Mm -hmm. And if they do the soil tests and do the CEC, you know, which is cation exchange capacity. If they do the soil test before and after, all they got to do is a little homework, spend a few dollars, and they'll see the scientific differences between what we're doing and what they're doing without that tech, without, without our technology, without the tech. Right. So, but so, uh, did I answer yeah. your question? Yes, you did. And, uh, and, and that's, and that's, so that was the end of 2019. And that was really for all intents and purposes where we really started, um, honest. I mean, of course, yeah, all the work and the blood, sweat and tears and, and everything, you know, you and I battling each other and beating each other up oh, at several points. No, no. Jim, let's <laughs> threatening each other. You know. Let's, let's not forget what happened in, uh, when March, March 2020 hits and COVID hits. Oh God. Right. And, and you're like, oh, what are we going to do now? I said, what are we going to do now? We're going to double time. Yeah. You know? Everybody else was staying home. We were like working twice as hard. Yeah. We, we started coming in. At, like, we started coming at 7 a.m. Now that farmers are home, we're going to. Yeah. We're going to come in at 7 a.m. We're going to stay until 9 p.m. And we're going to we're gonna work even harder to keep helping farmers. Right. You know? Because because the, the world was going to hell in a handbasket. And we're like, okay, let's let's just work harder and not pay, not pay attention to all the, all the noise because people are going to need food. Right. You know, we, we got to make sure that they're getting good food. So we kept pushing and pushing and pushing to make sure that everybody got good food, at, at least everyone that was using us. Right. So, so it was it's so, been interesting two years since then. Yeah. I mean, 2021, I mean, like you said, COVID was our real launcher, but then of course COVID hits and then no universities were open or even open, let alone. Did we lost out three trials. Yeah, we had we had more. We had like eight or nine trials, I think, all together. No, no, no. We no, no. With the, the university up. trials. Yeah, yeah. We had three universities that were starting our trials, and as soon as COVID hit, we lost all three of them. Right. Believe me, I remember because that was my project, and that and that was, yeah, that was when you were working on sales. I was working on the science. Right. What are we doing today? You're working on sales. Who's working <laughs> on the science? You. <laughs> Yeah, nothing's changed in two years. Well, the thing that's changed is now, now so many people are jumping on board with this. And, and well, you know, whereas before you get a sale once a month or something, now we're getting sales every week. And, you know, farmers are jumping on board. We're getting requests. And, you know, people are really, they're now finding out about how amazing this technology is. Because at the end of the day, you know, I think what it amounts to is if you just keep doing the right things, right? And, and that's what we've been doing since day one. You keep Absolutely. talking to farmers, finding out what they need, providing what they need helping Absolutely. them out, having a willingness and a desire, a true desire to help and not just say, Hey, I have a product for you. It's like having a desire to see them succeed. I think that's really been our successful action and it's helped us push through all that nonsense that we, we went through here and today. And, and we're, we're out, we're out at the other end and, uh, and we're in really good shape. Like you said, we have, what is it? 25, 27 countries now, 30 countries, um, you know, I think 30 or 40 trials ongoing. We, we sold it to 30 countries. Yeah. We have an office in India. We have an office in South in South Africa. We have um, and we don't have an office, but we have a team starting up. We have a corp. We have the corporation set up, and we have a team starting up in Australia. Um, same. Well, we've always been in Italy, so that's that's South an America, no the entire continent of South America. Oh yeah, we're we're, we're we're really yeah. South America. We have a sister company in South America, which is Organic Latam, but they were the launching. They were the launchers. They're the ones who really got things going because while we were figuring out, you know, the market in the United States, they just took off. I mean, they just jumped right in and they took off, you know, but right. you know, we, they, and they brought all the, all the additional results because when COVID hit, hit us, we got hit, we got hit hard, but they had already started prior to COVID. So they had a head start in South America. Our advantage is we had some farmers that were with us from the beginning, like Art Heinemann. You know, yeah. and, and he, sorry, I just had a call for an order. I have to, but that's fine. Well, I'll, I'll call him back. 
<laughs> I get on these calls and everybody's like, uh, and then I get these actual orders, people calling me while I'm on these. So, <laughs> sorry, let me interrupt you well, there. Sorry. But, the, 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 you know, when we had Art Heineman in the United States, he was one of our first farmers. He was like, I believe this works. He goes, as a matter of fact, I know this is going to work. And so he, he bought the technology and then he's been buying it every, every yeah. Well, actually, Art did such a great job that we even gave him a couple of pipes uh, as a gift, right. you know, because yeah, he's been amazing. He's, He's just amazing. And his farm has just been doing so well in, in, uh, in Tenasket, Washington. I, I don't think I've ever had fruit that's anywhere near. I mean, I've had organic fruit. I've had a lots, obviously lots of food from everywhere. I've never had anywhere near the quality of food that uh, yeah. he's producing with our tech. So, Hey, remember the, remember the plums that Gabe Alvarez sent us? Yep. How delicious were those plums? Oh my God. Well, <laughs> the funny, I'll, I'll tell a quick story and then we, we kind of got to jump off here. But but the quick story that I'll tell is we actually had, I think it was in 2019, we had um, what we call the Global Summit. Because again, at that point where we were ready to launch worldwide and we had you know members of the Globetrotters, we had mayors, we had senators, we had people with connections through Africa and Asia and all over the place. And yeah. all these people came to our office for the summit. And the whole first, it was a two day summit. And the first day, everybody's like, you know, polite and nice and yeah this looks interesting this looks cool you know like as people do and most, then most of those guys were, were retired right retired globe trotter yeah, retired yeah, yeah. senator retired <laughs> but in any case the first day it went well people were respectful and they were nice they were interested but it was kind of like a a conservative interest right and then second day kind of the same thing okay this looks good we had the whole plan of how they can you know utilize our tech and 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 you know organize everything to to get this help in, us to in, get in these the, countries. help us to get the word out i mean that's exactly a simple... yeah and then at the end of the day or the end of this day two when everybody's kind of like okay it's been two full days here we're you know we, we, we bring out, Art, Art Heinemann sent us two big boxes of produce, of melons and cucumbers and, and everything, squash, from his farm in Washington all the way across the United States. He had, he had uh, overnighted it to us. And we just, you know, we had somebody helping us, you know, cut it up and stuff. And we served his fruit. And the, like, instantaneously on, on, on tasting his melons especially, we had people going, Oh my God! They they weren't even paying attention to us anywhere. They were on their phone going, "Oh my God! You have to, you have to you have to taste this. I have never had anything like this in my life. Man, this stuff is amazing!" And like they they got super excited and it's the reality. Was, yeah, I mean, yeah. At the end of the day, it's it's by your work shall they know you, right? And and the produce that Darn Heineman was was he he was an amazing farmer before us. Don't get me wrong, but but with our tech, it just took it to that next level. And and we had people, you know, from well, multiple you know, talk, countries just, just jumping on board. Talk about a, you know Art and a, being an amazing farmer. We we doubled his production statistics and his income. We mm -hmm. doubled his production statistics and his income in a three year period. Right. Double. So that says a lot. Right. You know, but so the last thing that I want to say here, um, the two important, I guess this is where we get to the calls to action, right? And of course, for me as a salesperson, of course, um, my goal is to get everybody who's watching this, whether they're watching it live with us here or or watching in the future, is to get you guys set up with this. Again, not because we have a product or because I'm trying to sell you something, but because literally I want you guys to have the same results that we're talking about here. Go on our YouTube channel, go on our website, go, you know, go check us out. But I want you guys to see these results for yourself on your farm. And I don't care if you do an acre, 500 acres, 20,000, it doesn't matter to me. When you see what this product will do for your farm, you'll be a believer just like Art and just like all of our other farmers as well. And I want to uh, end off with Frank and give you the opportunity to mention the thousand science trial program. Uh, okay, that's, good. That's, that's a, 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 the other side of this is, we are going to make this the most vetted, proven, uh, documented technology on the planet for agriculture. And Frank, I'll let you uh, take it away and describe it a little bit there. Thank you. I, you know, Jim, Jim has the responsibility of, of selling, selling the technology and keeping the lights on, you know, and, and, keep, <laughs> and, and keeping the marketing, the, 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 the marketing fund to keep going. That's not my responsibility. My responsibility is to make sure that the technology is constantly delivering what we promise. So in doing so, I came up with a program last year that I'm inviting farmers all over the United States and all over the world to pay attention to. And here it goes. 1,000 scientific trials around the world. If you want to participate in a scientific trial, I mean real science, right? 
where we work with the university. Okay. You get the technology. You get that technology completely for free. We work with the university. The university gets paid through the farmer for measuring everything and doing all the all the anal anal analytics, all the measurements, all the science measurements. Really what it comes down to is this. We stay independent. The farmer doesn't have to do any of the measurement work because the university is going to do everything, but they use your farm. So we set this up where everybody wins. The farmer does really well. The university does well. And we all get the reports. So in doing this, I set to myself with a thousand <laughs> trials. They're about 50 pages each when you get the results. That's about 50,000 pages. I'm going to have my own encyclopedia of scientific data to prove that this technology is the future of agriculture. Okay. Some people have actually started calling us the, the Tesla of the agricultural industry. You know, I kind of like that. It's got a nice little ring to it, you know, but uh, Harvest Harmonics wants to make sure that we are always delivering what we promise. So if you are a farmer who wants to try the technology, okay, and you just want to pay for it, no problem. Call and speak to Jim. If you're a farmer and you want to try the technology, you want to do a do a, an arrangement with us, with a local university that you work with to actually do scientific trials on your farm, like real field trials, you contact me, okay? Because that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in the science. Jim's interested in the sales. And together, we're going to help make this planet uh, uh, green again and and. Frank Frank is, tells us in our staff meetings is I want to make Earth into uh, a planet that looks like the movie Avatar. And, I, and Pandora, from what I've Pandora. seen, this this technology will actually make it happen. So I want I want this planet planet Earth to look like Pandora. Oh, Pandora! That's right. That's, that's the, the name planet of the planet. In, yeah, that's the planet in in uh, Avatar. But go watch that movie if you want to know what we're talking about because it's a truly amazing natural environment. And um, you know exactly. If you want so, Pandora like I want Pandora, get on board. Yeah, exactly. So having said that, yeah, give us a call uh, or send us an email at service at harvestharmonics.com. And um, you can talk to me. You can talk to Frank uh, and uh, and we'll get we'll jump on board and you can become part of the the evolution and revolution of agriculture so that you can make more money. You can produce better product and everybody has a healthier environment and healthier fruits and vegetables for everybody to eat, which, of course, is the entire point of this. So I, exactly. I invite you guys to to become part of the adventure and part of our team. And we look forward to working with all of you guys very, very soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great, great day. Thank you, everyone. Ciao. Thanks, Jim. Thank you.